EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the International Challenge. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo, always a treat to be in Scotland, Frank, and at one of the oldest golf clubs in the world, Royal Troon. It's getting close to 150 years old. It was first established all the way back in 1878. Actually, the original golf course only had five holes on it. But um, over the Open Championship roster, this has probably been the most uh, successful or provided the most success to American players. The last six Open Championship winners were all American has one of the most famous holes in all of major championship golf, the 123-yard par 3 eighth. It's known as the postage stamp, and one of the legends had, had a really nice moment there many years ago. The late uh, Gene Sarazen, the squire, he had a little ace there, uh, all televised too, and uh, it was a great way to remember his phenomenal career. This, the second shot here at the par 4. That's a beautiful shot, and that sets him up for a really easy putt. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Getting set now over the putt. In for par. Now the lone par five on the back nine, the 16th. And while you might be thinking birdie here, you may want to think again. What are the options off the tee, Frank? Well, really, there's only one option, and that's keep it short of that burn, which is 280 yards. So that makes that 540 yards play that much longer. That's a good spot right there. Send a cut. Frank, there was another playoff at Royal Troon 2004 in another case where a Hall of Fame player was beaten. That's right. That was Ernie House versus Todd Hamilton. Uh, Todd Hamilton had won Honda earlier in the year. He'd left the Japanese tour. And he'd gone to the Open Championship actually full of confidence, but um, unbeknown to Ernie Els, he was, uh, was going to be beaten by the use of the utility club. Remember Todd Hamilton, time and time again, when he would miss the green, would chip with the utility club and beat Ernie Els in that four-hole playoff. And now we see so many players using that shot from just off the green. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Really? This is an awkward length. that mess are you kidding me I mean that one was dead center just a couple of feet continues to roll the ball very well the 
back nine here at Royal Troon has only one par five, and here it is, Frank. At 542 yards, you'd think it's reachable, but that burn cuts in at 280 yards, so it means you have to lay back. But I remember back in 1997, playing alongside Tiger Woods, and he still managed to get it onto the green from behind the burn. It was some shot. You knew at that point he was something special. He certainly was. He then knocked it in from 40 feet for an eagle three. We go. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. This is a pretty long putt here. You'd be happy to get this to within two or three feet. You really want to take the stress out of that next putt. You like that right there, Frank? Beautiful lag putt. Great pace. Lining this one up for par. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Frank, at the 1989 Open Championship, Greg Norman was in great position in that playoff with Mark Kalkovecki, and I believe it was Wayne Grady. What happened to Norman? Well, he started off uh, tremendous in the playoff. The playoff was 1, 2, 17, and 18. He birdied the first and the second hole. Missed the 17th green just on the left. Took three from the edge, which allowed Kalkovecki and Wayne Grady back in. Then took driver up off 18. It bounced just one hop too far and found that bunker on the right side. And of course, the rest was history, and Mark Kalkovecki was crowned the Open champion. Yeah, the great white shark, so often so unlucky at major championships. Seems to like it. For the back part of the green. And it is in. Amazing. Amazing. Frank, right where you want to be at the midway point of the tournament. Yeah, you know your game's solid. Um, the focus is more on the leader and that you can just go out and play. You know, excellent position to be in.